Welcome to the November 2022 edition of Corporate Reporting Insights. Now this month we are super excited to announce BDO Australia's inaugural sustainability report. Now we're very proud of our story so far, uh, but we also acknowledge that this is a journey and a continuous improvement journey. In this month's Corporate Reporting Insights, we've got five sections. First of all, a section on sustainability, then sections on international developments, Australian developments, general purpose financial statements, and not-for-profit entities. If we start with sustainability, first of all, we've got an article where we make some comments on the federal budget that was published in October 2022. We also provide an update on the latest developments around sustainability standards and disclosures. And we have a quarterly um, sustainability reporting update. We also would like to remind you to view the recording of our recent webinar, where we looked at ESG linked remuneration. And finally, we invite you to our next webinar on ESG due diligence. If we move on to international developments, first of all, um, there are new requirements on the classification of liabilities as current and non-current, and these new requirements now become effective on 1 January 2024. So there's been a lot of talk about this. There were standards, there were EDs, but we've got a final position and we've got an article on that. Then we also have an IFRIC agenda decision that's talking about lessers for giving um, lease payments of lessees and how to account for that. And we flag hyperinflationary economies and what that would mean for 31 December 2022 financial reporting. In the section on Australian developments, uh, we notice that ASIC is focusing on the non-disclosure of um, business risks in the OFR of listed entities. We also know that the ASIC, um, the ASX have um, indicated that they will be following strict reporting deadlines um, from 1 January 2023. So we're not expecting extensions to reporting deadlines as we had over the last two, three years during COVID. And then finally, um, the um, non-permissible assurance services that can be provided to public interest entities that are audit clients. Um, those rules are changing from 1 January 2023, as well as the um, um, accompanying communication requirements. And then finally, when we look at general purpose financial statements, we've got an article explaining how do we account for the proceeds from the sale of items of PP&E, property, plant and equipment, before it's ready for its intended use. And we also have an article discussing um, the pressures on supply chain, the higher prices, recent changes in accounting standards, and what does that mean for 31 December reporting. And then finally, when we look at not-for-profit entities, there's one article where we talk about the new or the proposed accounting requirements and disclosures for private sector, not-for-profit tier three entities. Now, this corporate reporting insights edition is absolutely jam-packed with great stuff, and we hope you enjoy reading all about it.